Hey everybody, welcome back here to my channel and to another Diorama results challenge, this time for July 2022. I had this awesome map here which was provided by who I was calling Liark, which actually stands for Life is a Roller Coaster. I didn't quite catch on to that one, but he put together this really cool Vekoma family coaster. This is a recreation layout of the Flight of the Hippogriff coaster, which can be found at Islands of Adventure in Florida. But it's also um, a copy of many Vekoma family roller coasters which can be found at many parks all over the world. It's a great little layout, it's really fun, actually packs quite a lot of intensity on some of those helixes. I really enjoy them throughout parks, I'm really happy to ride them. I think they're a great family coaster. But enough about the real life coaster, let's get into those Parkitect versions. We've got six entries, I can't wait to get into them. I'm going to do a runner up and a winner this month of course. Um, there is another challenge going on for August, so I'll put a link to that on the screen now so you can head over and check that out. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the entries. So first out the gate here, we have Troll Hunter by Pacific Rim. This one is themed to hunting trolls, of course. We've got three trolls there. I've got a turquoise, a white one, and a green one. And the coaster kind of meanders around those trolls with various trigger effects, which is nice to see. And also going around the trees as well. Uh, we have some like um, light up kind of mist in that on the trolls, which is quite cool. Um, and there are some, some lights as well around there as well, which is nice to see. I do think the two buildings, the station and the depot building, are super, super basic. I'd love to have seen more details on those. Some windows would have been cool, some cornerstones, some borders or something, or just a different style roof. It is very square and not very interesting to look at. Um, I think there could have been more with that one. Uh, like a nice outpost where you have like all these maps and things, you know, canopies where people who want to hunt trolls can come, uh, that kind of theme. But it's nice, I like the bridge going over the track as well there into the station, that's really nice. Here's a little look at nighttime for you as well, just so you can see some of those trigger lights lighting up. I really like that you used some triggers this month, um, I think that was really cool. Uh, but thank you for always participating and sending that one in to me. Next up here we have a map called Japan by Prognut, I hope I'm saying that correct. Um, again, this is a quite a nice little theme, we've got some really cool details here on those buildings, so that's really, really nice to see. Uh, this station building I think is really, really awesome, I think you've done a great job at detailing that one, and really getting this kind of Asian style theme going on, so that's really nice to see. Of course, we've got some pink cherry blossom trees, which is a staple to doing Japanese theming, I think. And uh, the coaster there kind of circles around a orbiter flat ride, which is really nice, nice little interaction there for the ride, and also for the guests around that area. And the building around the depot is really, really nice as well. Um, I like that you added footers to the supports. I'm not a big fan of those in-game supports. Um, but I do like this little wooden frame you've got going over the path there, which is kind of separating the guests from the track and creating like a safety net type barrier thing. But yeah, it's a really nice little layout. I would like to have seen it a little bit more polished in a few areas. But I can appreciate some of those kind of terrain risen areas with the stones and the different um, terror painting things. There are some nice details throughout this one. I just feel like this one wasn't quite as polished around the edges as it maybe could have been. Um, the pathing layout I think could have been done a bit better as well. But the overall general look and feel of this map, I really like it. I think you've done a great job at adding those details with the Asian theme that you were going for. And I do think you've done a great job. So here's a little look now at nighttime as well. We've got some glowy lights there and some kind of um, string lights on the path, etc., which is very nice. I think you did a great job, so thank you for sending that one in to me as well. So next up here we have Tiki Town by Sappy. This is a great little map, I love the theme. I've done a Tiki theme before as well on one of these challenges, so it's nice to see someone else have a go at it as well. Um, yeah, I love the colors. I think that blue track and everything goes really, really nicely with all those nice kind of um, light brownish buildings. And um, we've got some touches of turquoise in there as well and blue, which really give it a little pop of color here and there. So it's not all just kind of wooden tones. So that's really, really nice. I love the little path system that you've got going um, underneath and as well with that kind of um, bridge with the track going through it um, is really, really nice, really cool. The drop tower as well is really, really nice. I like that you've kind of done like an Alton Towers approach to it and dug down so you can make it a bit bigger but not have it overpowering the map, so that's really nice. And the little tiki heads as well on top of the tower are really, really cool. Nice little touch there. I do think this one lacks um, some kind of supporting on the track. Um, would like to have seen more of that because I do think it's important if you're going to go for like a nice realistic type theme park theme um, to have like some sort of supports otherwise the track is kind of just floating around um, but some of the little details there like on that little station is really nice I like the little the canopies going over the track and everything and uh, this little mounting over here as well with the trigger effect is really really cool as well there are some little supports coming out of that mounting attached to the track so I can appreciate that you had a go there 
The uh, building covering up the depot is really nice as well. And this little kind of um, yellow building in the corner there is also very, very nice. And like I said, the pathing layout has been done quite nicely as well. We've got some nice kind of curves and diagonals in there. Uh, I think he's done a really good job and it's been really nice to see someone else do another Tiki theme as well. So thank you for sending that one in. Next up here, we have Feed the Victory Parade by Splodge. Um, this was another great map. I loved all the details you put into the, all these buildings here. I love the kind of arrangement of how they go from low down to higher up. Um, so it kind of gives it some levels throughout this map, which is really nice. Um, the kind of uh, brick, stony wall around the edge is nice as well. I have a feeling that you may have built ever so slightly over the edge of the map with that last spire there on the corner. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, um, I kind of hope not. But um, yeah, it's really, really nice map. Got some nice details in there, some lovely colours. I love the turquoise roofs against those kind of dark burgundy roofs. I think that's really nice. I would like to have seen a little bit more variation in colour. I think not having all the buildings in the same shade uh, would have worked quite well as well. So having some a little bit darker, some a little bit lighter, and changing up the tones of those roofs as well. They don't all have to be the same colour. I think having some a little bit darker um, would have been quite cool as well. But that's just me, personal preference, and obviously you can do things how you want to do them. So that's not really like a negative thing. It's just something that I would do myself. Um, but yeah, the way that the track has been weaved in and out of the whole uh, map with all the buildings has been done quite nicely as well. We've got some like spaceships parked down there underneath there in like a gate, which is quite cool. So yeah, I like all the foliage and the trees. I think the color palette that's been chosen for the trees is really nice. And all the foliage and all the shrubbery that's been placed around as well has been nicely placed and it doesn't look too random. It's been really, you know, strategically placed on some of those areas and corners. And here's a little look at nighttime. I'd like to have seen some more kind of glows, maybe some torch lights or something, but we've got some nice little path lights in here anyway. But this was a great entry, so thank you for sending that one in to me. Next up here, we have the runner up. And this unfortunately doesn't have a name, but it's by Kevin Schadenberg. I hope I'm saying that correct. And I thought this was a really, really nice map. It's really kind of earthy. And I can really see this being like a, a typical European family theme park um, in the woods somewhere with those kind of rich tones on the rocks and those kind of dark green colors throughout all the trees and shrubbery. So that was really, really nice. I really like the aesthetic of this one. I think it's very nice. Um, got a nice little drop tower in there as well. Again, it's a really good spot to place a flat ride there in that helix because it kind of creates this really cool interaction moment. So you, you weren't the only person to do that, but it was a good spot to put like a ride there. Um, so that's really nice. The depot there has been covered using a facade of rocks, which is something that you see in real life at real theme parks. They often hide utility areas and staff areas with kind of facades that the guests see as part of the theming. So that's really nice. I like those kind of details. Um, I like this little path coming through here as well, going under the track and around those rocks. Um, that creates like a really nice guest immersion and everything. We've got this nice little zigzaggy path going through there. I would love to have seen that as a diagonal path. I think it just creates a better aesthetic, but um, I can appreciate that you stuck to, you know, the vanilla grid based um, part of the game. Some custom supports would have been nice as well on this one, just to kind of really bring it a little bit more to life. And I'm not sure about the white train. I think a different color for the train would have been better, but it's all again personal preference so that's just my personal opinion on the train there but i think this is a beautiful map i think it's been put together very well and they've got some nice little warm torch glows as well throughout the map as well which is nice to see so thank you for sending that one in to me and lastly onto the winner here we have a really cool map by the z a lot i hope i'm saying that correct this is blackwell family roller coaster and again very similar to the previous map with this kind of forest kind of family urban theme park type vibe but I think this one has been um, put together just a little bit better. It's a lot more pleasing to look at and um, I can really appreciate the kind of aesthetic that you've gone for here. I love the pathing, all the choice of diagonal pathing there, which really kind of complements the coaster really nicely. Some of those low turning areas on the coaster are kind of framed by this nice diagonal pathing with some fencing. So that's really, really nice. The terra painting is good as well. I love the brown kind of muddy floor that you've used to kind of follow the track where the supports are. Um, so that's really, really great to see. Um, the buildings as well are really whimsical, very charming. I love the colours, the blues and the greens there. Uh, they work really, really well. And this little kind of uh, building in the corner over the station is really cool. So I've got some custom supports here, which are really nice. They're, they're really unique. I like them very much. We've got these kind of um, greyish, bluey supports going up the lift hill there. And then we've got these just kind of brown supports for the rest of the track. Um, but I think it looks really wonderful, very realistic. And I like the train as well with the black um, lead car with the rest of it being red. 
I also, I don't know if you can see, but there are some like stone details on the pathing, which is really nice. Um, I love these kind of custom little touches people put onto the pathing. Uh, it just creates like a whole new element and a whole new vibe to it, and I really, really like that. We've got some pumpkins decorated throughout there as well. And this whole little building over here, I think is really nice. It's quite simple, but it's really effective. I think it's been done very well. Sometimes people fall into the trap of covering up the depot and then it being the only building in the park, whereas this one has this really nice uh, building that's opposite it to really complement that other building. So it doesn't look like we're hiding something. So that's really, really nice. Um, and I also think those two buildings have been put together very nicely. I love this brick style building here on the left. I think it's really awesome. Here's a little look at night times. So we've got some nice glows, the windows are lit up. We've got some nice kind of fairy lighting or string lighting hanging up as well on the buildings. And we've got this nice purple light as well on the rocks, which is really nice. Yeah, this was a great map. Definitely the deserved winner of this month's challenge. Don't forget to check out the challenge for next month. And also leave me a comment down below of which map was your favorite one this month as well. I really do appreciate everybody that likes and comments and subscribes. And I'll see you all next time here on my channel for another video. Bye.